Well, now we are going to do something different from what we had been doing earlier and this is offering help to someone and also uh, thanking them that is offering help and also responding to the help that others uh, give you. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you offered any help to anybody, uh, to your neighbors or to your uh, colleagues? Have you offered help at any time? Think. Okay, in case you haven't, don't worry. Now you can offer like maybe you had a language problem, you didn't know how to go about it. Now we are going to learn more about it. Okay, in case you want to ask someone, like you feel that you can uh, help someone with the, uh, the project work or you want to help somebody to give a lift to someone or you can you want to help someone to copy something. So uh, what would you say? Okay, now we are going to learn the three different uh, situations. I have already told you formal, informal and neutral. Okay, now we are going to see how you express uh, offering help. So this is offering help and responding. Okay, I am just going to write a uh, formal situation. Formal. Would you like me to do it for you? This is how you ask. Okay. Would you? like me to do it for you or you can even say shall I do it for you okay in the place where you have do it here you can put whatever job you would like to um, offer to help. Okay. Now we will put it in this uh, sentences and I will uh, discuss with you how to go about uh, with a conversation. This is formal situation. Informal. Formal means people who are in your office, maybe uh, your boss or your uh, higher official okay, or a principal anybody who is higher than you uh, in a formal situation we can ask. Informal is your friends, your neighbors, your uh, kith and kin that is your relatives, anybody. Okay, now here you ask can I, can I do it for you? You don't say uh, would you like me to or uh, all this okay they, these are for formal situations this is for informal situations. How about me helping you? With some work okay. Or next, I'll do it for you. Okay, next is a neutral situation. Neutral situation also can be that is neutral situation is uh, maybe some acquaintance or a stranger you meet um, or uh, uh, someone on the way you want to help um, okay so in such cases you know, that's a neutral situation Do you want me to help you? Okay, 
So these are the situations and now we are going to put it in dialogues and see how we can use all this uh, offering uh, for help okay and how a person responds when you offer for help. Uh, okay first you take this down and I am going to tell you how to respond for these uh, uh, for this offering for help and then we will put it in um, proper conversation or dialogues okay take down all this you should have a notebook so that you can jot it down and later you can refer to it. Okay, when somebody offers to help you, how do you respond? You can either respond positively or negatively. Okay, that is if you if you want to take the offer of help, you will respond in one way and if you do not want the offer of help you will respond in another way. We are going to see how that goes ok. So uh, responding I just write here responding to help positive way. positive. When somebody offers help, anybody like whether it is formal, informal or neutral, you say uh, thank you that is very nice of you. Okay. Um, you can also say thank you I am greatly delighted I am greatly delighted ok. This is how you answer positively or you can just say uh, very in a very uh, informal situation to your uh, parents or um, to your friends you just say thanks ok. Thanks da or thanks uh, um, you can name some thanks Arun thanks a lot you can say thanks a lot in a very informal way these two you can say uh, for a formal way and this is for informal way ok negatively that is when you when somebody is offering help uh, how do you answer in a negative way negative means uh, nothing bad like you do not want to help if you, how do you say. Uh, you, ju you can just say oh, thank you but please do not bother. Thank you but please do not bother means uh, thanks for offering but please do not bother I can manage it ok any uh, other way no thanks no thanks uh, I can manage ok so these are the ways you respond when somebody offers to help you responding to uh, help you ok. So thank you that is very nice of you, thank you I am greatly delighted or thank you I am uh, just delighted uh, thanks or thanks a lot in a very informal way. A negative way thank you but please do not bother 
or no thanks I can manage. Okay? These are the ways in which you answer positively and negatively. Is that clear? Okay. Small things like this if you learn, you will really uh, be able to speak fluently and write fluently the proper way. Now when you um, reply, you can, uh, there is also something like called fillers. Okay, fillers means like okay, well, by the way, all these are called fillers. When you use in your uh, dialogues, you just don't uh, abruptly start a sentence uh, when somebody asks you something, you just don't abruptly answer. Well, I think I can manage. Well, thank you. I am greatly delighted. So, you can use certain words as fillers. I will just write it here, fillers. We are going to incorporate all this in the dialogues now, okay. Fillers means, oh, uh, well, okay, uh, by the way, You see, um, uh, all these you can use as fillers. You can also say, uh, my God, good heavens. All these are fillers where you can put in the dialogue that is uh, when your uh, mind is in the thinking process. Okay, you can use all these uh, in between the dialogues. Is that clear? Now we are going to clean the board and I am going to give you some situations where you use uh, positive uh, sentences for offering help and responding and also responding negatively. Okay. Okay, now I am going to give you different situations where you need somebody's help and when somebody offers you help, how you would reply. Now we just saw how you offer help and how you respond to offering of help. Okay, now just imagine uh, you have a lot of work. Maybe uh, you have, I mean, as uh, men, you may have a lot of uh, uh, office work to be finished, some files to be looked into and your wife calls you and says, uh, would you please go and uh, uh, get some um, uh, sugar from the departmental store and you have to finish your files and you are not able to, you know, like if you go out and come, you lose your concentration. Okay, so in such situation, somebody comes and helps you, how uh, you would uh, respond to it, uh, let us see. For example, um, Mr. Arun, okay, Arun, he visits your house, okay, your name is Anand and your friend Arun enters in. Hi, Anand. How are you? I have already taught you how to, uh, when you wish someone whom you know very well, you just say, how are you? You look so, you look so, um, what do we say, tensed today. What's the matter? Now Anand is doing his office work at home and his friend Arun enters in and he says, Hi Anand, how are you? You look so tense today. What's the matter? Then Anand replies, Hmm. 
you see you see i have some files to i have some files to look into but my wife but my wife wants me to get some sugar urgently okay anand is uh, telling uh, his friend arun the problem for which anand i mean arun replies oh if that's the problem i can get it for you i'm just going that way so what is um, arun doing now he is offering to help him now uh, anand has a problem he he has to concentrate in his files but uh, his wife was asking him to get some sugar very urgently and uh, he is just wondering like if he goes to the shop and comes he will lose his concentration in the files and so when arun is offering if that's a problem i can get it for you i'm just going that way so anand is so happy what does he say that thank you that's very kind of you and arun replies you're welcome or i mean you can say oh that's a pleasure Oh, you can say you're welcome. Okay, so if you see, we have a situation where Arun and Anand are speaking to each other, and Arun is tensed. I'm sorry. Arun uh, is entering Anand's house, and Anand stands because he needs some help. And Arun offers to help him, and Anand is so very uh, happy that Arun has come forward to help him. And he says, "Thank you. That's very kind of you." That's how he is responding to the help that uh, uh, he's offering. And Arun responds to uh, what he says, "You're welcome." okay so this is how you carry on a conversation when somebody offers uh, you, you help and how you respond to them okay take it down okay now i'm going to give you a telephonic conversation where somebody is offering help and how uh, the other one accepts or rejects it okay Uh, take down this conversation and we will practice it orally a telephone conversation between a and b hello is it
Yes. Can I help you, sir? This is offering help. Okay, now uh, first I'll take write down and then you can. Could I speak to Mr. Sampath? Okay, Mr. Sam. <clears throat> B says, I'm sorry, he's not here at the moment. Then again, A says, um, I am okay. Uh, we, we, he's just asking whether he can leave a message. Okay, so I'm sorry he's not here at the moment. Um, please. Could you leave a message for him, sir? See, you, if you see, they are using the word could. Could denotes, uh, in uh, that is formal uh, conversation, you always use could, okay? Could you leave a message for him? Okay, now A, <clears throat> I am Dr. Anil, please inform, um, please inform Mr. Sam, that I will be leaving for Bangalore this morning and this evening. Bangalore. Okay, for which B says, evening, and I shall be back on Sunday. Okay, and B says, Okay, I'll tell him, sir. And A. Thank you. Okay, if you see this, we find a telephonic conversation between A and B and A calls up and I mean A calls up and says, is it 9440826200? So he's just checking 
whether he is calling the right number. And B takes up the phone and says, yes, can I help you, sir? So this is offering help. Offering help. Okay. Could I speak to Mr. Sam? B says, I'm sorry, he's not here at the moment. Could you leave a message for him, sir? And A replies, I am Dr. Anil. Please inform Mr. Sam that I will be leaving for Bangalore this evening and I shall be back on Sunday. And B says, okay, I'll tell him, sir. So he is, um, first he offered him to help and he gives him some work. And how does he thank? How does A thank? Thank you. Bye. And B also says, bye. So this is a telephonic conversation where somebody is asking another person to do a little bit of help. And this is how. Uh, he offers and he accepts the offer and he thanks him for the offer and they say bye and they put the phone down. Okay, so in case you have any uh, message to be given to someone, so you call up first, this is how you ask, you check with, sometimes you may by mistake put a wrong number and it may go to a wrong person. So first you have to check whether you are calling the right number and check it up and then when they say yes, you can proceed with whatever you have to speak. Okay, so here you have to thank them. Whatever small help anyone offers to help you, you have to thank them and then say bye. Okay, so this is how you go about it. You can also say no. For example, uh, you are waiting at a bus stop. You are a young girl waiting at a bus stop. And uh, you're waiting for bus. It's been a long time. Bus hasn't come. And uh, there comes some stranger on a bike. And he offers to uh, help you. He says, ma'am, would, like would you like to have a lift? I shall take you. I shall drop you wherever you want to go. Would you immediately go? No, isn't it? So you will reject the offer. Say, no, thank you. It's very kind of you. Thank you, I can manage, isn't it? So, so sometimes when somebody offers help also, you should be careful in choosing to say yes or no. So, so sometimes when they offer for help, you refuse. So you see, it's very kind of you, thank you. I can manage. So this is how you respond to offer for help. I'm sure you're thorough with this, uh, this particular chapter. Okay, we'll move on to the next one.